Bailey's still a puppy to me, but at 13 years old, he doesn't like doing a lot of jumping. So let's build him a sturdy doggy ramp. You'll need two by fours and one by fours, indoor outdoor rugged mats, a miter saw, safety glasses, measuring tape, a sanding block, a nail gun and staples, a straight edge and a utility knife, a drill and bits for pilot holes and screws, two and a quarter inch screws, and two four inch bolts with washers and nuts. Make sure one of the bits is as wide as the bolts. First, get your measurements. I'm going to be mainly using this for my truck, so I'm measuring the height where he jumps in, which is 18 inches tall. I also want to store it inside of the truck between uses, so I'll make it 48 inches long. Since Bailey is a bit of a big boy, I want it wide enough for his normal gait, so I'm going with 16 inches wide. With these measurements in mind, cut the wood to size with a miter saw. You'll need two two by fours cut at 48 inches, 14 one by fours cut at 16 inches, one two by four cut at 13 inches, two two by fours cut at 16 inches. These are the legs. Note, if you want to build a ramp with a different height than mine, simply take the height measurement and subtract two inches for the leg length. The two two by four legs should also have a 45 degree angle cut out of one corner so that you've cut one and a half inches off of the piece. You'll also need another two by four cut, but wait until later to get the exact measurement. Sand all of the cut ends with a sanding block. Lay out the two 48 inch two by fours parallel and on their short sides and place a one by four across the top. Drill pilot holes and then secure in place with screws. Continue until the two by fours are covered with the one by fours. Lay the indoor-outdoor mats on top of the 1x4s. These will give Bailey a better grip while using the ramp. I don't like the curved edges, though. Use a straight edge and utility knife to take off the curved edges if desired. Butt the mats up against each other to fully cover the ramp. Use a nail gun and staples to secure the mats in place along all edges. Turn the ramp on its side and add the 13-inch 2x4 to the top end. Use a bit as wide as the bolts to drill a hole in the center top and about an inch and a half down on the leg 2x4s. This should be at the cutout end. Place the 2x4 inside of the ramp so that the cut corner side is facing down. Leave a gap of about 3 4 inches or slightly less between the 2x4 and the end of the ramp. Use a pencil to mark the hole on the ramp frame. Drill a hole on the mark and through the frame. Run a bolt through the frame and through the leg. There should be a washer on both sides. Secure in place with the nut. The nut should be tight so there's some resistance when you move the legs, but not so much so they don't move at all. Once you have both legs in place, stand the ramp up and measure between the two legs. Cut a two by four to the exact measurement. This will stabilize the legs together. Turn the ramp over on its side and screw into both legs to secure. The legs should now be able to pull out for use and collapse for storage. Let's try this out. Position the ramp and make sure the legs are sitting flat on the ground. On the fly, DIY.